Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to upgrade a um, hardware on Lenovo laptop. Here's the laptop I uh, ordered from Lenovo last month. It cost $508. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. It's got an Intel X ray uh, 2.4 gig dual core processor. I uh, optioned for a two uh, optioned for four gig of RAM and everything else is pretty much standard so I paid five hundred dollars for this. Um, the first thing I want to do is to tell you the tools we're going to need. We need a Phillips head screwdriver, um, a utility knife and a uh, cotton tip and alcohol swab. It's pretty easy to open the cover of this laptop. There are three screws at the back. But the first thing I'm going to do is remove the battery. Just make sure the computer is turned off. The battery just slide out like that. And the next step is to undo the three screws at the back panel. So undo the one to the left first. Use your finger gently lift the back cover, and then we undo the one in the middle. <coughs> the same thing, gently lift the cover, and then we undo the last one. Right. And you can see the cover just comes out straight away. Two bays here. So this is the micro SATA bay. We're going to install. SSD drive into the bay. And here is empty RAM slot. It's pretty easy to put the RAM in. Just gently push this into the slot and push it down. It locks. And next thing, it is a crucial 128 gig SATA uh, SSD drive. So this SSD can go into this M SATA bay without removing the original hard drive, the Toshiba 7200 RPM 500 gig hard drive can stay and you can use this hard drive as the D drive. So just gently push this in. You will notice you have to use a small screw to secure the SSD drive. Just as a reminder, this laptop doesn't come with this little screw. So I have this little screw from my old Dell laptop. Um, if you don't have a screw for the M SATA drive, what you can do is take one screw from the hard disk inside this laptop. Um, removing, there are two screws holding the hard disk. Removing one doesn't really make a difference, I guess. SSD drive in, and we have the additional RAM in. And the next step is to upgrade the CPU. Four screws holding the heatsink. To undo each, each one of those. Normally, I undo the screws in diagonal to make sure you release the pressure uh, even so it doesn't crush the die. It just comes off like that. That's the original CPU comes with it. Um, and here's the new CPU, CPU I ordered. What I'm going to do first is to clean up the CPU a little bit using the alcohol swap and the cotton tip. Just gently clean the surface. Get a little bit swap. That one is nice and clean. Now we remove the original CPU inside this laptop. What we need is this straight head screwdriver. Better just use this. Get a bit more torque. And just turn it 180 degrees, and the CPU comes off straight away. Um, the reason we need a utility knife is the CPU I bought because it's an OEM um, put out put out from a working system. It doesn't have thermal compound. All right. So we need this utility knife to remove the thermal compound from the old CPU and then we can reuse it on the new one. Just gently 
spread the thermal compound. All right. Now what we need to do is look at the heat sink to make sure the dye is in good contact with the with the heat sink. And by doing that, you can pretty much spread the thermal compound onto the CPU dye. Think that looks better. I just need to rearrange thermal compound on the sink as well. There you go. So this little mark on the one of the corners of the CPU and this mark indicates the CPU goes like that. So it sits in there. The next thing we do is to use the screwdriver to lock the CPU in place. You turn this little knob. 180 degrees so it locks up and then replace the heat sink like this just make sure the thermal compound goes nicely uh, on top of it of the CPU. Do a little more work here. Alright. Yeah, I think it should be all I think it should be alright. And then just gently screw the heat sink back in place. Again, we're doing this in diagonal. The next thing to do is to make sure it actually works. Um, I'm reasonably confident it's going to work, so I'm going to just close the back cover. The good thing about this Lenovo laptop is everything you can upgrade is under this massive back cover. It's not like some laptops you have to remove the keyboard. Um, and it's a massive job to uh, even see the CPU and other components. Now I just flip this back. Um, Pop the battery back in. Open the screen. Power. There we go. Starting Windows. Actually, before I did this demonstration, I have already installed Windows 7 on the SSD drive. Then it's pretty damn fast. those changes all right I'll restart now so we'll do a restart and see how many seconds does this take one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen That's thirteen seconds from the post screen so we're looking at the CPU that testing result as you can see it shows the CPU has been upgraded to Intel Core i7 3612 QM and there were four cores here and eight threads so also I want to demonstrate is how fast this thing loads up um, some heavy-duty applications like Photoshop um, starting now one two three 
four, five. For five seconds, you have the workspace. And here is the uh, Microsoft Word 2013. One, two, two seconds.